Hello, this is a screencast to show you how to set up uh, an Animoto account and then also request a free educator account that will allow you to create videos longer than 30 seconds. So the first thing you want to do is go to Animoto.com and then you're going to have to click on sign up. I created another account just so I can do this to demonstrate this. So I'm going to type in my email address. And I'll put my first name and last name and put in a password. At this point, go ahead and click on education for the type of video that you're going to do. And I'm going to say start trial. <clears throat> and it's going to ask you, do you want what kind of what, what do you want to create? Um, we're going to do a little something different, though, first. First, we need to go in and request the free educator account um, the easiest way to do that I think is just click on create um, and then down at the bottom go ahead and click on this education link and it's kind of a convoluted way here this is are you a teacher yes you want to use the students in classroom projects I want to click on learn more and I'm going to click on apply now <clears throat> and I'm going to type my name my school my grades I teach subject I think you put whatever you want maybe put self-contained or if you're an elementary teacher and then you need to put your school email address um, if you have a class website a wiki or a blog or something you could put that in there <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to leave it blank. I'm not sure what's going to happen if I leave that blank, but we'll see. So I'm going to say sign up. Good news. <clears throat> Your Animoto for Education application has been approved. Hooray. So now I'm going to go to my email somewhere around here. There it is. And I'm going to check it. And it may take a minute or so for it to come in. And it shows up in my inbox. It says my ed education account was approved. I'm going to click on it. And it gives you some information about this. Um, now, save this email because what this allows you to do is um, if you want to give this access to your students, I think you can have up to like 50 students. Um, yeah, up to 50 accounts. The kids have to be at least 13 years old. <clears throat> but it's there if, if you need that. So save this email so that you have that code because it's going to be a uh, uh, kind of a, um, a coupon code so to speak so once that's done we can go back um, to Animoto I'm just gonna click on it go back to my videos <clears throat> and it says I have nothing and I'm gonna click on create which is I'm kind of back where I was so I'm going to click on the create button under slideshow video and I have a lot more options here um, now some of the things that say premium you may not have access to because there are some paid accounts that you need to be aware of you can't pay for this um, it's I don't know how much it costs but you can go into the pricing section and find out but for the most part you you have lots of different um, categories that you can choose from uh, from classroom you've got events there's a bunch in here there's holiday <clears throat> you can't click on all and there's a whole bunch of different themes on there so like if you wanted to go with cosmic tidings or this one's dance dance party you can probably hear that <clears throat> this is kind of a sample of what it may look like with some sample music Okay, so I'm going to click on create video now. Okay. Okay, and you can go through here and uh, get started through the basic steps of creating an Animoto video. I'm just going to hit skip. Um, basically, you have different styles. You can change the style if you want. Um, you can, oh, what did I do? I did it again. Okay, sorry. Going back through here again. All right, now I'm going to try pastel motives, and I'm going to hit create. Sorry about that. Um, 
you can add a logo if you want to uh, uh, add some things. This is going to be where you're going to um, add your pictures. You want to upload them. You can get them from these different things. If you happen to put them in, in Dropbox, that's fine. If you have your computer, have them loaded up on your computer, you can do that. And so if you have a folder of pictures, you can go in there. Um, and so I found some images that I have, uh, just random images on, a, on my computer. So I'm going to pick, I don't know, no, let's pick I don't know, that many right there. And I'm going to say open. <clears throat> and so the pictures are starting to come in, as you'll see. Oh, this is from our career day that we had um, at our school several weeks ago. So I'm just kind of picking some pictures. They may not be the best pictures for this, but it'll at least give you a, a demonstration of, of how to do this. So they're loading up really fast. And <clears throat> here is that. And it says right now that I can, I think it's a 1 minute and 12 seconds. Uh, the song itself is i can't remember if it's i think it's a four minute and 26 second song and i've only got a one minute and 12 seconds of um, uh, pictures so i'm going to click on this edit song trim and pacing and you can go you can trim the song or you can slow the pacing down if you want and you'll see i slowed down the pacing and so that 112 now is 224 and so you can really slow it down and hit save and now it's at 324 or you can go slow and it's now it's your song is full that means it's longer than the 426 so it cuts two pictures off so what I need to do is go in to image pacing I'm gonna click on auto and your images will be paced to fill your song I think that that's actually a new feature and I kinda of like that but now I gotta bring these back in so I'm gonna drag these over there <clears throat> so I've got this song it says fit that means the song is going to be 4 minutes and 26 seconds long. Now you can import or change songs. If I click on change song, you have a whole bunch of different songs that you have available. These are some songs that are designed for this particular theme. But you can go in and browse the full library. And here's a whole bunch of different music that you can listen to. There's some classical music. There's children's music. I'll just click on that. Halloween. So there's a lot of music. There's Age of Harmony here. I'm going to click on that one just, just for grins. And I'll click on Select. Not enough items to create an auto-placed video. Okay, add more items to shorten this trim. Okay, well, I don't have that. So I'm going to trim the song. Let's just go like right about there. There we go. So I made it 2 minutes and 36 seconds. And you can change that by finding different places of the song. So I'm going to start there and maybe I'll just go here. All right, that's where it's going to start. So the song's 2 minutes and 19 seconds long. And now I can preview this video just to start with. And it takes about 15 seconds or so. I need more pictures, obviously, because these pictures are well. They're 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 kind of slowly moving, and they're not bad. So there's that that, and you can produce it when you're done. But I'm going to continue editing because I've got some more things I want to do. I want to be able to add text, so I click on my first image and I hit add text. Um, my awesome slideshow. You can put. you want hit save and it puts it over here I don't know why it does that but I want it in the front so I can move this like that just kind of move it over or just move this one over and so now if I go to preview you'll see that it's going to come up with a, a title there let's give it a second or two or 15 so there's my title and you can go back and edit some more. You can put an end title if you want. 
Um, there's other things you can do. You can put actually put captions on these pictures as well. If you click on there, you can actually correct, uh, crop and touch up the photos too. Well, I won't be doing that for for this um, presenter. I have no idea who that is. So now it says presenter. Um, I'll go into this guy. I'll click on it, and I'll go ahead and edit this one just to see what I can do with it. I can change the color. I can you know make it warmer. You know, do some different things. I can tint, put a tint in there, apply. I have no idea what it's going to do there. I could take red eye off if I want to. I can crop the picture if I want to make it a little bit smaller or don't want to take some parts out of it. I can do that and move it around. Um, you can change the orientation if you have a sideways picture. Um, the lighting. There's all kinds of stuff you can do in there. So you can take a look at that. And I'm going to save that. <clears throat> and you can also spotlight the some of these pictures. Oh, it's waiting until it's done. You can spotlight these pictures where if you have a specific picture that you want to really emphasize, you can click on it and hit spotlight. Like I'll do this one right here. And I'll do spotlight. And notice it's got a little yellow thing around it. That's going to mean it's going to stay on there a little bit longer. So when I hit preview again oh preview is disabled why oh because it's loading okay now preview it's going to take a couple seconds for it to come up as usual and here comes the title and you're going to see there's the caption that comes up presenter and then there's that picture that's that cropped picture i did and this is, I think, I don't know if this is the spotlighted picture. No, the next picture is the spotlighted one. This one's probably going to stay on a little bit longer than the other ones because I did the spotlight on this. Yes, it's staying on there way too long. But just to illustrate. All right, so I'm going to continue the editing. And then when you're done with the video, I mean, there's a lot of other things you can do as well. You can move pictures around if you don't like it there. You can certainly kind of flip those around um, you can add more pictures if you want to um, add the text to your titles if you want and then once you're done you're gonna hit the preview button again and then you're gonna just go ahead and hit produce you're going to title it whatever you want to call it uh, you can put the producer name I would if you want take that out because it'll put your name on the video probably don't want that and I'm gonna hit finish oh I have to put a title in here whoops that's not what I wanted my slideshow. I hit finish. And there it is. Basically, it's finalizing the image. It's going to take a while. And it's going to give you a link that you can use. You can just go right to the image. You can download it. Um, it's not going to be uh, high definition quality like you might see on YouTube you may have to pay for it I mean you can actually pay like five dollars to get a HD video so it'll look really crisp and clear on your screen but you can decide for yourself if that's really worth it um, you know you can actually dump it on YouTube you can download it or you can just use the link itself and I think this is gonna be the link up here that I'll play the video when it's done but I'm not gonna wait till it's final oh there it goes look at that it just finished so now if I take this link copy it and if I just stop this and just go into another web browser and just paste it in you'll see there it is and I can actually do full screen like that you don't see it full screen right now but that's how that works so I know this is a way 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 long video and um, so sorry about that but hope that works